Hi, Assalamualaikum to everyone and our lecturer, Mr. Hairul bin Bakri. I am Haika Zarif, representing our group, group 11. I'm going to, to present our solution for the task given in assignment 1, which is Torsional Loadings Evaluation for Subject Solid Mechanic BMMM 2303. We are from group 11 and our program is BMMM 1 stroke 2. And the structure we have chosen to to be used in our solution for this task is top range. Okay, let's move to the next slide. Which okay, uh, this is the, the the actual picture of the actual product that I have found uh, in my house. Okay, uh, we have do some research and we have found that the the type of shaft used in this top range is solid shaft okay so the equation after this afterwards equation for any calculation is by using the solid shaft calculation okay uh, and the material that we have found in our research is steel the material used to produce the top range is steel and i have done some some dimension taking as we can see at picture below okay and the come out is like this the shaft length is 0 0.04 meter the handle length is 0 0.17 meter. The shaft diameter is 16.11 times 10 to the power of negative 3 meter. And the radius, shaft radius C is 8.055 times 10 to the power of negative 3 meter. Since the main material to, in order to build this top range is steel, we have again do the research from internet and we have come up with this modulus of rigidity G equal to 78 gigapascal the yield strength equal to 180 megapascal and the shear yield stress which is tau y we have obtained from the half of the yield strength which the value is 90 megapascal okay from the actual product here and the dimension that i have taken below i have come up with this two type of free body diagram okay uh, as we can see here if we assume that the force is 90 degree from here with value of 80 newton and the all of this dimension we assume that to the uh, for the top range to rotate anti clockwise because the force applied is from above from below to above okay uh, this one is the another version of simplified fbd without the dimension of the shaft and handle diameter Okay, uh, this is, we can see here, uh, the rotating axis is at Y here. Okay, by that, we can get the equation of equilibrium by calculating moment at Y. Okay, uh, actually, to, to obtain the top, we need to find the moment at Y because, because moment at Y is, uh, is submission, is submission of the top and the moment itself. Okay, uh, as we can see here, yeah, as the moment, by we assume that if the moment rotating to clockwise, it has positive value of moment. But in this case, we can see uh, the moment is rotating anti-clockwise. So, here we got the equation. Uh, force times perpendicular distance here. Yeah, 80 times 0 0.17 meter minus T. Because T is anti-clockwise equal to 0 and we got T 13.6 newton meter okay uh, this is the first calculation that I can obtain from our assumption and the value given so let's move to the next part of the calculation let's move to the next calculation part which is polar moment of inertia of an area torsion and factor of safety FOS so for the polar moment of inertia J we have the formula is J equal to pi over 2 times with C to the power of 4 C is radius of the shaft so from here uh, we have the radius and then we just uh, put it in uh, the value into the formula 
uh, and we have pi over 2 times 8.055 times 10 to the power of negative 3 bracket power 4 and then we have the uh, value of j is 6.6127 times 10 to the power of negative 9 meter 4 so for the torsion uh, we have the formula is tau equal to t times c over j which is t is the top c is the radius of the shaft and j is the polar moment of inertia so uh, we just include the value of t c and j which is t is 13.6 times with c which is 8.055 times 10 to the power of negative 3 and then divide by j the value that we have calculated just now uh, and we get uh, just now is 6.61 to 7 times 10 to the power of negative 9 and then we get the value uh, for the torsion which is 16.566 MPa uh, and then let's move to the factor of safety for the factor of safety we have the Formula is FOS equal to tau fail over tau allow. But for these cases, uh, we don't use tau fail. Instead, we use uh, shear yield stress. So, uh, we have tau Y over tau allow. And then we, uh, in, in, uh, we put the value uh, which is 90 MPA over 16.566 MPA and then we get the value for the factor of safety is 5.43 uh, for our study tau fail uh, we use shear yield stress uh, is because by the definition uh, shear yield stress is a stress that causes uh, yielding of the material uh, in brief is a minimum stress needed to produce specific amount of deformation on the structure so in our cases with uh, the force that we have assumed which is 80 newton uh, we added uh, so our factor of safety that we get from calculation just now is 5.43 so uh, from 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 there we can say that we believe uh, that the force applied in our cases is safe because of uh, our factor of safety is uh, the value is bigger than one uh, so that's all for our cases next i pass to hakim basi thank you after we obtain the data from our previous calculation of the actual structure, we now can determine the calculation for allowable force that makes shaft working, maximum force that shaft can withstand, and the force that can broke the shaft. As we learned in our solid mechanic lecture session, we know that if the factor of safety is greater than 1, it shows that the structure is working safely under the force applied, means that the force is safe and doesn't fail the structure. First, we go through the allowable force. Here, we assume that FOS or factor of safety is 1.1 because as I said earlier, we know that if FOS is greater than 1, then it's safe for the structure. So, we assume that the FOS is 1.1. Then, we put 1.1 to the, to the factor of safety formula to get the torsional allowed which is 81.82 MPa. The formula for factor of safety is torsional fail over torsional allowed. So after we get the 81.82 MPa, we put the data to the torsional allowed formula to get the torque. The formula is T times radius over J. So we get the torque by 67.17 newton meter. Then after we get the torque, we can find the force by applying it to the torque 
formula. Then we get the force by 395.118 Newton. It mean here that every force below 395 is suitable and safe for the structure. Next, we go to the maximum force that the shaft can withstand. Here, the maximum force, we put the factor of safety is 1. We put 1 to the we put 1 to the factor of safety formula. Then we got the torsional allowable is 90 MPa. So, we put 90 MPa to the torsional formula to get the torque then we get the torque by 73.8849 newton meter then we put the torque that we get to the torque formula which is force time distance to get the force we get the force by 434.6172 newton force that is the maximum force that the shaft can withstand. Next, we go to the force that broke the shaft. We go to the calculation of the force that can broke the shaft. First, we use the FOS that is below than 1. We choose here 0 0.9. Then we put it on the FOS formula. Then we get the torsional allowed, which is 100 MPa. Then, 100 MPa, we put it on the torsional allow formula to get the torque, which is 82.0944 Newton meter. Then, we divide the torque by the distance, which is 0 0.17 meter to get the force that can broke the shaft, which is 482 0.9079 Newton. That means every force that bigger than 482.9079 Newton may broke the shaft. Same like the maximum force that shift that maximum force that shaft can withstand. Any force that bigger than 434.6172 Newton can break the shaft can broke the shaft to conclude if 80 newton force is applied to our structure then the torque produced is 13.6 newton meter the j or the polar moment of inertia is 6.6127 times 10 to the power of negative 9 meter to the power of 4 then the torsion produced by 80 newton force is 16.566 megapascal uh, then the factor of safety is 5.43 the factor of safety here is bigger than one then the force 80 newton force is safe for our structure then we find the allowable force the factor of safety is 1.1 then we produce torque by 67.17 newton meter torque the torsion here we get 81.82 megapascal then the force is 395.118 newton for maximum force the factor of safety is 1 then the torque produced is 70 73.8849 newton meter then the torsion is 90 mpa while the force the force is 434.6172 Newton. Lastly, the broke force. The force that can broke the structure. The factor of safety is lower than 1. Here, we put 0 0.9. Then the torque produced is 82.0944 Newton meter torque. The torsion is 100 MPa and the force is 482.9079 newton force so that's all from uh, our group which is group 11 
thank you for your time and I hope you enjoy our presentation. Thank you. Assalamualaikum.